Nick Van Dodge here, back with another video, and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to jailbreak iOS 10 on your iOS device. So if you're ready, let's start the video. Before we get started, I want to clarify that iOS 10 does not work on every device. If you're on iPhone 7, it will only work if you're on iOS 10.1 or 10.1.1 and all the 64 bits are all supported so iPhone 6s, 6, 5s and iPhone SE is also working and also iPad Air 2, iPad Air, iPad Mini 4, iPad Mini 3, iPad Mini 2 and the iPad Pro also with the iPod Touch. As you can see I'm on an iPhone 6s and I'm having 10.2 so this is working if you're on an iPhone 6s 10.2. This is also of course working from iOS 10.2 0 0.1 till 10.2 so it is all working first of all before we really get started make sure your iPhone is connected to your computer copy the links down below in the description and paste it in your browser so the first one we're gonna do is you're gonna wait for five seconds you're gonna skip this ad right over here and it's the IPA file which actually contains the jailbreak so this one is the first one which we're gonna download it's an IPA file and the second one we're gonna paste the link again we're gonna wait for five seconds skip this ad and it should bring us to the CD impactor and just choose the system where you're on in this case I'm showing it on Windows for you but you can also perform this exactly the same on your Mac uh, computer and you just hit the Mac OS so in this case Windows I'm gonna select Windows so I'm gonna download it once it has me finished I'm gonna head back to my download folder right over here and the impactor I'm gonna extract it right over here so once it has been done I don't need the zip file anymore so I can throw that away the next step is what you need to do is open the impactor file right over here and select the impactor the program itself so double tap on it the program should start right over here what you need to do is head back to your download folder and drag and drop the IPA file inside the CD impactor right over here so once that happens it will ask for your Apple ID just fill that one in if it doesn't work just create a new one so it will eventually work so I'm gonna type in my Apple ID right over here and then followed by my password no worries at all nothing will happen with your password it is just all about verifying the application for you so right over here and you still have at this moment you still have your iPhone connected to your computer so you're gonna wait a couple seconds maybe 20 30 seconds until the um, installation is actually finished once it has been finished you can see complete inside Cydia Impactor and you will see this uh, the Yalu app on your iPhone right over here so the laptop we don't need that anymore so you can put that away and once you hit the Yalu app you need to trust the developer first in this case I'm gonna go back to settings general and then profile device management in this case I'm gonna tap on myself because uh, we just verified ourselves as a developer so I'm gonna trust that app the Yalu 102 app and here you go when I tap it it will actually open so this is the jailbreak uh, which we need to run so when you tap on it it failed on the first try don't worry it can happen so when I tap on it again the device should restart or reboot and I'm gonna give it a second try over here so once this has been rebooted right over here if I try to tap on the app it will not work and that's because I need to trust it again so head back to settings right here oh, just a moment settings and then head over to general and profile and device management right here and then trust this once again right over here so it should allow us to enter the Yalu app again right over here and tap on go so just wait a couple of seconds and once that's been done okay tap on go and when you tap on go the app will actually jailbreak your iOS device so it should take a couple of seconds maybe 10 or 20 seconds we're gonna wait for it once it has been finished it will restart your device by itself so no worries at all don't touch anything it will restart by itself so once it has been restarted you should see the Cydia app on your iOS device so we're gonna wait for it until the iPhone has been restarted right over here when we switch to our next screen right over here you can see the Cydia app has been installed on our iOS device so this is only working uh, from iOS 10.0.1 till 10.2 but if you are on iPhone 7 it will only work if you are on iOS 
10.1 and 10.1.1 so the links for iphone 7 users are also down below in the description and when i open the cd app you can see it is all working fine i'm on iphone the success you can see that on ios 10.2 so when i tap on open the yalu app again it will say it's jailbroken already so I'm gonna tell you that this jailbreak is a semi-tethered. So what does that mean? So you can see I'm turning and switching off my iPhone and when it's rebooted again, I can't use my CD app again because it's a semi-tethered. And that means once your iPhone has to be turned off and it has to be turned on again, it will not work. So it is very easy to bypass that step. What you need to do is open the Yalu app again, tap on go, wait for 10, 20 seconds. It will restart your device again. And once it has been restarted, you can use your CDR again. So it's been jailbroken again. So it's very easy to fix this and it's a semi tethered So that is what semi tethered means. So when you kill the or you should turn off your iPhone, it will not work anymore. So here you can see the Cydia is actually working and it's working all fine. So I'm very happy with that. So no worries at all. Just follow everything what I just did. It's a very easy installation, how to jailbreak your iOS device with iOS 10 with the Yalu app. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching again. Nick Fendots signing out.